What's up, YouTube? I'm Jack. This is Jack Reacts, and today we got a very, very special video. I'm real excited to get in this one. Today we got Nas featuring AZ, Lice a Bitch, and it is off Illmatic, so my anticipation is so high for this one. I did New York State of Mind on the channel, and then I've also heard a couple other tracks from this project, and they were all fire, like 10 out of 10, just flawless. The lyricism, the beats, everything. I have not heard anything from AZ though, so we'll see what he does. I got the lyrics put up as well, of course. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments below. And if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment your requests down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. And if you'd like to further support me, you can check out my Patreon link in bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express it enough. But without further ado, let's go to get in the video. That sample sounds familiar. Let me know what it is. Yo, gotta go ahead and pause it right here. Normally, y'all know my drill. I would like let the verse ride out before I get my take. But he says so much just in these first few lines. And I want to break down a couple of them. First off, he opened it up saying, Visualizing the realism of life in actuality. Fuck who's the baddest. A person's status depends on salary. Bro, that is a bar right there. Just off the rhyme schemes alone, that was like eight syllables that rhymed in those two bars. Also, I just love the realism of that. He even said realism in the first line. There's no sugarcoating anything. He followed it up saying, my mentality is money orientated. People always love to say, uh, you know, money doesn't matter. They like to preach that. But in reality, you know, it does. It's no one really wants to say it. You can't eat, you can't even drink water without money. So it does matter to an extent. You know, I'm not pushing any beliefs on anyone, but I like that. Also loved how he said, because yeah, we were beginners in the hood as five percenters, but something must have got in us because all of us turned to sinners. Wow. That was an incredible line too. We're not even halfway through the verse and I'm already extremely impressed and a little sad at myself because I've not heard of AZ before. Yeah, man, this is fire. That being said, let's get back to it. Mm. I like that. That's that. That's that crime pays mentality right there. Mm. Okay, this is the hook right here. Mm, I like that. Uh oh, Nas. Mm. Mm. Bro, are you kidding me? Nah. Gotta go ahead and pause it right here. I know we're about to get into the chorus. It looks like we don't got too much longer left. I could let it ride out, but I want to go ahead and break down some of these bars while it's on my mind. This verse was fire. You know, and I'm not surprised because, again, it is off Illmatic. And it's just Nas. Nas, in general, 
is definitely in my top five. I think I said that a few times on the channel. If you didn't know that, he's in my top five. Love Nas. My favorite thing about Nas is his storytelling, but he also has uh, an amazing ability to create complex rhyme schemes and cadences. And I just love his voice and presence over the mic in general. This verse though, to me, really demonstrates the storytelling aspect. You know, he talks about uh, being a kid or an adolescent rather, and doing a lot of ignorant things you could say to acquire money uh fortune he talks about stealing from foreign people taking their green cards their money and then going back to his hood and flashing it and because of that it's like he gained popularity and status which goes perfect with uh, the first bars of az's verse saying a person's status depends on salary I like that. That just goes to show their verses really correlate with each other. They're real in sync. I love when features on a track, their verses go great together and they're not completely different. Well, I'm talking about Nas. I don't mean to get off track. I thought that was a dope little picture he painted. Nas really has that ability to transport you into his mind, into his frame of reference. You really feel like you're there on Queensbridge in the early 90s when all this was going down. Really love this verse. Very impressed, as always, with Nas. That being said, let's go ahead and let it write out. When you're gonna go, I like that. Just straight up, not sugarcoating anything. I like it. Mm. Mm. I like whatever this um horn is. That old school East Coast hip hop with the jazz influence is very heavy, especially on this track. Mm. Yeah, the instrumental was dope too. I forgot to mention that. And the cutoff right there, by the way, beat is fire. Let me know who produced it. Love the sample. It definitely sounds familiar. Y'all gotta let me know. It almost has a little bit of like a West Coast energy to it. You know what I'm saying? Just it has that sort of bounce. Like some you play in the summertime. This definitely sounds very different from the other songs that I've heard off this album, which were more boom bap, gritty drums. It's a little bit smoother, laid back. I love it though. Shout out to AZ and Nas. They both killed it equally in my opinion. I don't know though. I might actually prefer AZ's verse lyrically over Nas's, but I am a little biased because I just love Nas's voice, and you know he's one of my favorite rappers. So it's hard not to favor Nas. Both of them did their thing though, and I'm for sure we're gonna have to check out some more AZ because I was not expecting him to be that nice. Oh my God, he he really ate that verse, and I feel like he opened up the track perfectly. Overall, with just the message and the energy, it's very cynical. And not too much in a bad way, but you know, we just not sugarcoating anything, just everything straight up. Lice a bitch and then we die. I like that message right there. I, and I agree with that to an extent. I wouldn't say I'm the most like religious person or spiritual person. I am a little bit, but I agree. I think you got one life, you live it. And a lot of the things that people say, you know, crime don't pay and money doesn't matter, or whatever, is just you know them making it up or they read it in like the bible it doesn't mean it's true you got to find out for yourself this one is for sure going on the playlist i appreciate y'all recommending me this one and on that note if y'all like this video please make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications if you haven't already and comment your request down below i will get to them as soon as possible and if you'd like to further support me you can check out my patreon link and bio your support means the world i cannot express it enough but y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in, and peace.